We had an election on November 4th. A lot of Republicans were elected to the House of Representatives here in Congress and to the Senate, running on a couple of big issues. One was the repeal of Obamacare. The other was to block President Obama's executive amnesty. Well, the President went ahead with his executive amnesty on November 20th. He built on a couple of other unconstitutional components, and it's time that we stood up and fight now rather than fund now and fight later. There's always a better time to fight. We keep hearing that. Well, that time to fight is now. And by the time you see this, I will have gone to the Rules Committee, presented an amendment, an amendment that not only cuts off all funding to implement or enforce the President's lawless, unconstitutional acts with regard to immigration, going clear back to March 2nd of 2011, the Morton Memos, DACA, the Deferred Action on Childhood Arrivals, now the President's November 20th, huge overreach, the greatest overreach in constitutional violations, I believe, in the history of this country. My amendment cuts all of that funding off, and it says, listen, we won an election. The president has told us that, go win an election, and then you can exert, assert your positions. Well, that election now is, has come to pass, and we're sitting here with a majority in the House and soon a majority in the Senate. But waiting for the Senate is waiting too long because if we wait, we are then compelled to fund now and fight later if we fight at all. I say instead, cut the funding now, start the fight now, fight now and fight later, but defend the Constitution. And it won't be long, January 6th, we'll be asked here in the House and the Senate to take an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. That doesn't mean when it's convenient. It doesn't mean if it fits your politics. It doesn't mean if it doesn't make you vulnerable politically. It means you took an oath, and that means you have to stand up for the Constitution. That's what I'm doing. The King Amendment cuts off all funding to implement or enforce the President's law, lawless unconstitutional acts, those in the past, those in the present, and by the way, those in the future. And it sets up a short-term CR so that we only fund our government till the last business day of January, January 30th. That seats the new Republican majority in the Senate. It seats the expanded majority in the House of Representatives, and it makes us stronger in fighting this president. We will have to put him in a political straitjacket, or there won't be anything left of our Constitution by the time we, we elect another president. So the King Amendment's going before rules, and I hope to get it to the floor for a vote. I want you all to know what's going on here in this Congress. Some of us are putting up a fight, and I'm one of them.